Elliott. Well, Ron, you hear it all the time whenever a player comes back from a lengthy absence. They appreciate the sport a lot more. They realize what they could lose when it's gone. And one of those people, the latest to say it, is Toronto's second leading scorer. It was supposed to be routine surgery. December 2009, doctors to repair a herniated disc in Joffrey Lupel's back. I knew after the first surgery I was in a lot of pain and it was kind of one of those things where I was thinking, man, I just didn't think back surgery would quite be this, would be this bad. There was still pressure on his nerves, so they had to go in again. This time, however, it created a mysterious blood infection. As a result, Lupel would miss almost a year. I did six weeks of IV antibiotics to get rid of that infection and I finished that and I was ready to go and I was I finally got rid of this and then uh, a week or two later I mean I laugh about it now but a week or two later I started getting some pain again and went back in and uh, they said I uh, came back <laughs> so I had to do another eight weeks of the IV antibiotics and it was just like I remember being in his office just like I can't believe this but when you're five six months after surgery and you're still not um, can't can't really lift anything or it's even tough to get a, out of bed you I mean you start to start to wonder if maybe you played your <clears throat> played your last game Infection got into his blood. He went from uh, 210 plus pounds down to 170. I was one of those guys before that maybe just kind of went in the weight room and and did things in there to kind of get by. Now I'm like to think I'm in there every day doing something and trying also to get as much out of, uh, out of myself and my body as I can. If you would have told me four years ago I would, was a guy that was going to be doing yoga and Pilates, I'd probably would have laughed laughed in your face. Now he's doing the laughing. At last year's trade deadline, he played along with a Twitter prank that he'd been dealt the New York Islanders. But his last real move wasn't so funny to him. Were you surprised when you were traded for Manheim and Toronto? And did that throw you at all? Yeah, I was, I was shocked. I didn't, first of all, I didn't know if anyone would really want me. And I was frustrated in Anaheim. I felt, like I said before, I, I worked really hard to get back and then um, I felt didn't get the opportunity that maybe I should have right when I came back. Um, but that's the nature of the business. I mean, I was out a year and, and in their mind some guys um, passed me in that year. So um, I didn't agree with it and hopefully I'm going to do, I mean, I'm going to do everything I can here to, to prove them wrong. Just 